What's up guys, Reese here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we've got a super special project that we're gonna walk through that was made available to me by a couple of the guys in my brokerage. Uh, we are touring a 24 unit brick building, some two beds, some one beds, that is gonna be fully gut renovated. Super cool project today, let's jump into it. All right, guys, I'm joined here with Brandon Goldsmith at Reefco Realty. He's gonna be giving us a tour of the property today. He's also the project manager on this property. Brandon, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, how's it going, guys? Uh, my name is Brandon Goldsmith. I am a realtor and project manager here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, and right now, I'm about to take you through a tour of one of the bigger projects, if not the biggest one I have going on right now, over on the east side of Columbus. Um, so we can kind of start getting into that, but uh, let's get started. All right, so one of the cool things about where we're currently at in this project is that we've got multiple different phases going on right now, right? So we're gonna about to start in one unit that pretty much has not been touched yet. A little bit done to it, and we're gonna work our way through the project uh, to another unit that's nearing completion. Nothing's finished yet. We'll probably do another follow-up video with Brandon here in the future once we have some finished units and we can dive into uh, you know, some of the issues he's had managing the renovation for some of the successes. That'll be a later video, but today we're gonna dive right into it and start in one of the untouched units. Yeah, let's go see the starting phase. All right, so we're here in one of the two bed units that has not been started yet, maybe cleaned out a little bit, tenants moved out. Uh, so this is where the project is pretty much beginning all around the property. Uh, and Brandon, tell me a little bit about this unit. So this was rented out where with the previous tenant? Previous tenant was rented out, uh, this one's typically for about $500. Five so well below market value. As we make all these improvements, we're gonna get it up to market rent, which is gonna be, for one bedroom, it's gonna be around 900 to 950. And then for the two bedrooms, so probably around $1,200 a month. Gotcha. And what's the breakdown of one versus two beds at this property? 24 units total, correct? Yeah, so we've got uh, eight two bedrooms and then 12 one bedroom units. And then there is room for another additional four units in the basement. But, you know, we're trying to get all 24 of these out first before we even start that and think about it. Very cool. So on these two bedroom units, clearly, you know, as we walk around here, we'll see it's pretty, it's a pretty good, you know, unit. It's not too bad. You could rent this out as is, clean it up doing some minor fixes, but that's not what the owner has planned for this property, right? So are they ripping this down to the studs, ripping out cabinets, countertops, going the whole nine yards? Yeah, essentially pretty much, except for the exception of a few walls, um, we're ripping everything out. So all these cabinets here, countertops, you know, the plumbing sink, flooring, even ceilings, soffits, I even have an old school doorbell here. It's <laughs> gonna be gone. Uh, the only thing that's staying is a few walls in the bedrooms. Even this, where you're saying right behind you, Reese, mm -hmm. is gonna be completely uh, cut down and we're making a bar top actually out of that. So you can see into the living room and you know, it's just that modern phase, more open concept space that people desire and wanna live in. Very cool, that'll make it feel much bigger in here, just opening it up a little bit. Absolutely. Let's walk on into the rest of the property here. So behind the camera here is the entry unit into the kitchen. And then we're gonna walk on into the living area. Uh, so we'll showcase this. So we see these are pretty big units, Brandon. We've obviously got a nice living area out here. We've got a bedroom over here, bedroom over here, and a full bathroom that we'll get some B-roll up to show the property around here. But how many square feet, feet is this property? So usually these are between six and, have, six and 700 square feet, okay. uh, give or take between the you know, ones and two bedroom units. Gotcha, and we can probably hear, that's why I've got the mic today, we can hear there's work going on at the property. So we're gonna head out here and head over to one of the units that is pretty much demoed down to the studs already. Is that right, Brandon? That is correct. Awesome, let's head out. As we work our way around here, uh, you can see that work is going on today. It's a busy, um, job site, you know, what's the project timeline on this? They're, they're rocking and rolling trying to get this done, yeah, right? Yeah, so from start to finish, uh, we started back in about February and we're hoping to have it done, you know, by hopefully September. So we're trying to get around eight, nine months uh, in general, just start to finish. And we're gonna be leasing these out for the most part, kind of as we go. We're gonna have, you know, if there's still a lot of maintenance and you know heavy work going on in a lot of the units, we're gonna hold off. But as we start to finish one half of the building, 
we're gonna start to lease that out while we move into the second half of the demo, renovation, and then the leasing. And a lot of these units are, what, grouped in like groups of four? So as you finish one group of four, it's kind of separated from the rest, and you can probably lease out those four while working on the others, is that Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. So we have basically the layout of the building is two halves, uh, 12 on each side, and then each block, there's A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, is all broken down into four units. So, you know, it's 12, 12 units in total and then broken down in three separate blocks on each side. Very with cool. With a total of uh, the same amount of garages, as you can see I was just gonna us. say, we got, you know, 24, 25 garages out here. That's super nice to be able to include that uh, probably bumps the rent up quite a bit as well, right? Having that available. Absolutely. And, you know, we're still in the city, so parking is still an issue. Mm -hmm. And, you know, having that, you know, it's, you know, small thing, but it makes all the difference. Exactly. Now, tell me a little bit about the budget on this. So, um, what's the total project budget? And then, I guess, what's that kind of breakdown per unit? Yeah, absolutely. So, originally, we were trying to be somewhere not too far over 300000 for the entire project. Uh, and that would have clocked us in around probably $13,000 a unit, but you know, it's definitely, you know, once you open everything up and kind of see what everything looks like on the inside, we're looking more towards 400,000 right now and hopefully, you know, not gonna be exceeding 15 to 16,000 per unit. Cool. All right, so it's pretty clear that the owners of this property, they got a great deal. They're putting a ton of effort into this project. You're putting a ton of effort into it. Great job so far. Let's go ahead and wander over to one of your units that you know, nothing's done yet, but the latest phase of where you guys are at in the project. Absolutely. So Sound good? we can go over to D Block. Awesome. Awesome. Well, as we've seen, this place is coming together great. What's the timeline to get uh, a unit that's in this condition to complete it and start, you know, marketing it for lease? Yeah, from uh, this this point right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so probably about another month, I'd say. Month left. Uh, yeah, about, about a month left, and we'll be ready to get it start lease out. Perfect. And when did you guys start this project? Was it a couple months ago now, or? Yeah, we started in February actually. Okay. And hopefully, like I said. We're aiming for about eight to nine months uh, to have all of them completed. And it's probably really getting much more efficient now that you're kind of learning what's going on and, and getting going. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, talking about that, let's talk about some of, I guess, the challenges you've had on this project. Uh, let's start off with first, you know, uh, this is the biggest or one of the biggest properties that you've kind of managed to rehab for as the project manager. What's been some of like the issues or challenges you've had while, you know, keeping on schedule, project managing, everything that comes along with that? Yeah, so with the building itself, there's, you know, it's an old building. Um, so the infrastructure, you know, they did decades ago <laughs> was a lot different than how they do now. So there's just concrete everywhere. Um, we've had to spend a lot of time ripping out a lot of concrete, you know, in the bathrooms, in the kitchens that, you know, that's just not where concrete necessarily goes. So that's been time sensitive. Uh, with the property as well as, you know, with some of the water and things like that, it goes all into one system as far as not being separated. So in a building this big, you know, if something goes wrong, you're affecting, you know, multiple units instead of just one or two. Uh, so that's been the biggest challenge with the building itself. And then with my job personally, uh, definitely keeping track and, you know, kind of making sure everything is on time, uh, delivering the job that needs to be done uh, to on the delivery date, so that and the payments definitely. So when you have right now, I believe we have over six different crews at even the, here today. They're on doing all their different jobs. We have about six different crews here today, and then managing all their financing, making sure what's done, uh, who's getting paid out, and for what you know percentage of their completion has definitely been one of the biggest struggles. All right, awesome project today. We can hear all around us, like we've been saying, busy work site today. I assume you got to get back to work keeping this project on task. So, Brandon, thanks so much for showing us around today. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, checking it out. Awesome. Hope guys, to see you guys back in a month, um, you know, when it's you know a little more completed. Absolutely. That's what we're hoping for. We'll see some of the units maybe before you guys get it leased out. See, uh, you know, how it, how it finished, what you guys can get at least for. And maybe talk some more numbers at that point in time. Sound good? Yep. Awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Really appreciate all the support. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel uh, if you enjoy this type of content. I hope to show more projects like this, especially some more of the projects that Brandon here 
is uh, managing. So thanks so much. See you guys later.